Yeah, what's good job, ladies, gentlemen, kings, queens, how y'all doing, how y'all feeling today? We got the tragic, the crazy tragic, damn, nigga, down full of Dougie B. Um, this is brought to us by New School Stories. It was on my, uh, I think it was on my recommended or my home feed, whatever the fuck. Um, yesterday, I seen that it was going to premiere today, so you know what I'm saying? We're here, let's get smooth to it, man. Dougie B is one of the biggest names to emerge from the Bronx Drill movement. He makes good music and brings a type of energy that is hard to replicate. He started yeah. rapping at the perfect time and was right beside K Flock every step of the way through his entire rise Damn. in 2021. Damn. Dougie Damn. B was one Damn. of a select group of Damn. kids with the opportunity of a lifetime in front of him. He was in position to make it out of the hood and pursue a career in music making money way above the average salary. But unfortunately, he never fully chose to take advantage. He let his demons, personal struggles, and drug habit get in the way. All true. And instead of capitalizing on the opportunity to become a star, Dougie found himself constantly getting high, making bad decisions, going in and jail. out of jail, yeah. and barely dropping music. Over the past three years, his life has been nothing but chaos. He's managed to occasionally drop bangers here and there and shown glimpses of his true potential, but never taken the necessary steps Damn. to get in the right state of Damn. mind to realize Damn. it. Now, Damn. Bronx Drill is on the decline. Dougie's facing serious charges, sure. and his opportunity looks like it's been that. wasted unnecessarily. What so charges? in this video, we'll take a look about into the wild journey Dugs has been on since he first gained fame back in 2021. Damn, Dougie. Damn. 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 Dougie B grew up in the Bronx on 187th Street, a neighborhood known as Sev Side. Growing up on the Sev, he met friends like K Flock and B Love. Unfortunately, Dougie experienced tragedy early in his life after his dad passed away when Dougie was in his early teens. In an attempt to cope, man. Dougie decided to start using perks and Zans, and the habit quickly grew into a crippling addiction. The pills, lack of a father figure, and crime-filled, gang-ran environment of Sebside was a bad combination. Say no to drugs, to Dougie kids. joining the local Sebside MB blood gang and walling out in the streets, getting into all types of trouble. He, K, and B Love all found themselves in and out the system. Eventually, in 2020, B Love came home and decided to take rap seriously. This same year, K also returned from Juvie, and B Love convinced him to start rapping as well. In late 2020, K and B Love started seeing success when tracks like Op Spotter and Speed Racing began mm -hmm. generating attention in the city. Dougie, who was still in Juvie at the time, heard about the success they were seeing and decided that he would try his hand at rap when he got out. In December, when he came home, he, K Flock, and Shai K, another rapper they were cool with at the time, got in the studio and dropped a song called No More Free Dougie B. And this was Dougie's debut on the Bronx Drill scene. In March of 2021, K, Dougie, and B Love teamed up on a song called Brotherly Love. This song went crazy, racking up a million views in a week. It was huge for all three artists and encouraged them to start dropping Classic. more. Dougie had just started making music, but following Brotherly Love, he began appearing on more songs, though they were mostly collabs Classic. with his other friends who were rapping, like K, B Love, Yagi B, and Justo B. In summer, things really got crazy, and the violence in the Bronx spiked. Sebside, the local gang Dougie B and K-Flock rep, was a part of a larger alliance known as DOA, and during the summer, DOA's beefs with rival gangs would escalate. During one three-day stretch in July, DOA and a rival gang they had beef with both lost members, and an attempt was made on Dougie's life. Rival gang members ended up flocking at him, and he was hit in the leg. Luckily, he quickly recovered and was back getting sturdy in no Damn. time. Along Damn. with all the Damn. violence, the Damn. music was also Damn. going crazy. K Flock was blowing up, and his breakout hit, Is You Ready? Why was are you going on the beat? Crazy. Other DOA rappers like C Blue, Seti, Nazi BK, 
and see how we're all taking off. <laughs> Nigga ain't sure Shetty, I'm waiting. Ops like Lee Drill Shetty, and Lee Thing, who are also going crazy. Dougie was right in the middle of all of this, and in late summer, he appeared on some of his biggest songs up to that point, like EOS with Seti and Yaki B, and Turnt would be Love. Following the crazy summer of 2021, Dougie fell back from rap and stopped appearing on songs as much as he used to. However, in October, he announced that he had signed with Republic Records. In December of 2021, K caught a body and was locked up, and this was Fuck, a huge bro. loss for DOA. In 2022, Dougie happen, continued son. his hiatus from late 2021, but in February, he popped up with the song called Forever On That. That the song had one of the best drill beats of all time. Damn. Ducky brought Damn. his usual energy. Damn. Damn. And the that track video went was hard crazy, too. racking up millions of views, becoming his biggest solo song ever. In March, Dougie was arrested after being involved in a situation where shots were fired outside a courthouse. But he was released a couple days later. In April, he got the biggest look of his career. When he was featured on uh, a K Block B. song called Shake It. Yeah. This was a big record. The label promoted it heavily and even added Cardi B. So when it dropped, the cool. song blew up cool. and racked up tens of millions of views and streams and took over TikTok. With the crazy success of Shake It and Forever On That, Dougie was in position to take over in 2022, Damn, but he remained inconsistent. Throughout his rise to fame in 2021, Dougie had continued popping pills heavily, and his substance abuse was a very likely cause of his inconsistency and erratic behavior. Sometime in videos. early 2022, Dougie started dating Asian Doll, and this relationship would end up leading to problems. A situation yeah. popped up where Asian Doll went to Dougie and told him a rumor about something Nazi BK had allegedly told her behind his back. Dougie believed her. And this led to him and Nas falling out and taking shots at each other throughout the year. Let me talk about that for a second, because I've actually never put too much thought in it. I'm not a nigga that likes to worry about other people or talk about what other people got going on. But when I sit back and think about it, that just gives me the vibes. Like, knowing, I can't say knowing Asian's character, but like from what we see, you know what I'm saying? I personally feel... Like, she just did her homework on all these niggas' background and just made some shit up. I personally don't think Nas BK told her that shit. I just think she she stirred the pot, started some bullshit, and you, you see where the fuck she at now. She ain't, she ain't in the mix, so, you know what I'm saying? That, that was another unfortunate, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, internal conflict uh, concerning the DOAs. <laughs> But, you yeah, know, that's just my opinion. Reimers, though. Here, including crossing Nas falling out and taking shots at each other throughout the year, including crossing each other out on pictures, sending subs on their IG lives and stories, and all the other antics rappers pull when they're beefing with each other. Eventually, things seemed to escalate with Dougie saying he was smoking Nas's grandmother in the song and Nas responding by saying he was smoking Dougie's father and referring to him as Druggy B, once again referencing the well-known fact that Dougie's perk habit was causing him to wild out. However, shortly after the situation, they were seen on stage together, which showed that although they weren't on great terms, they were able to be in the same place together without anything popping off. In late 2022, Dougie finally dropped new music. On November 18th, he dropped his debut album, I ain't gonna lie. Bigger. Kill him with kindness, cool. Keep it 100, cool. Spin him on bad, no discussion. <laughs> that bitch went crazy. When I when I when the shit first dropped, and I seen that track on the damn track list, I was like, yeah, <laughs> let me hear this one. You know what I'm saying? Free SB. You know what I'm saying? Um. But yeah, that, that been went crazy. The fans were happy with the music. All eyes on me was cool. Well. Mad Max, all right. Following this on album, that, of course. Dougie took Uzi, a hiatus back. until March. Throughout the early months of 2023, a group called The Sweepers who DOA beefed with oh boy, here had been blowing up. Yep. And a big reason for their success oh, hey. was a song called Seth Side K, This in DOA. This was literally an alley-oop for DOA rappers to diss them back and benefit off all the attention the sweepers were generating. In March, 
Dougie B decided to return, dropping uh-huh. a snippet, responding to the sweepers, dissing them back. He recruited Yagi B and Joe Benz, yep. and the result was a track called OA, where they used the dark Jersey Club sound the sweepers had popularized to diss them back. The record took off, racking up millions on YouTube. Once Damn. again, Dougie oh, was in to position be. to lock in and go up with his music, but yet again, he remained inconsistent, dropping a total of two other songs the rest of the year. To make matters worse, in addition to not making music, he continued getting into trouble. In May, he was arrested on unknown charges. Then in July, he was arrested again, and this time charged with burglary in a situation that there isn't much information on the internet about. In September, he appeared in a Booba 100 video where it was clear he was going through a lot in life. In November, Dougie was arrested once again, adding to his growing rap sheet. In December, K Flock unfollowed Dougie on Instagram, and some suspected it had something to do with the cryptic post Dougie had put up on his story, showing a handful of pills and possibly hinting at him checking out permanently. A few weeks after this, he appeared in an interview high out of his mind and addressed the recent controversy. That's true. That's true. So he admitted he had a substance abuse problem and also said that he and K were still brothers and still talked to each other's that's moms. Dumb as hell right there. It was very clear that everyone was still brothers and still talked to each other's moms. It was very clear to everybody who saw the video that Dougie was really struggling with his demons and many of the comments were prayers and well wishes for him to get his life together. But unfortunately, this didn't happen and the next month in January of 2024, Dougie was arrested again, this time on charges of school abuse. Man, oh my, yo, that bitch is a cornball. I don't give a fuck. I don't even like throwing the B word around, you know what I'm saying? But when it's warranted, I'll let that bitch lose every trip. That bitch is fucking... I don't know what the fuck she got going. That bitch is a bad vibe. She is a bad vibe. Hell nah, bro. That shit annoying as shit. I don't, I don't know how the fuck... Man. That that I- Idris, Idris, whatever the fuck, nigga. Look what you done did, nigga. Not for the sake of some clicks. Aw... Oh. For the sake of some damn clicks. I'm pinning the blame on you, nigga. For damn sure am. This bitch a clown too, though. It's currently unclear whether these allegations are true or not. But if they are, they could possibly result in serious repercussions. This brings us to the present day. I ain't saying Dougie ain't Dougie on B bullshit, has but... a very sad story. He had all the momentum he needed to change his life, as well as his family's, and the lives of the people around him but he was never able to overcome his personal struggles. He became yet another artist on the losing end of a battle Damn. with the demons, and as a result, experienced all the chaos and drama insane. that come with the erratic decisions, pills and other substances Damn. Damn. influence people Damn. to make. Hopefully, one day he can find sobriety and peace, but it's up to him. So for now, we'll just have to wait and see. Damn. Damn. That's tough, man. Hey, prayers up to Dougie, bruh. Nah. Nah, that shit is, uh... You know what I'm saying? Niggas be having shit going on. That's all it is. But... I don't know. Niggas go about shit differently. So it's like... I don't know, man. But... There was also this shit where this nigga punched some glass or some shit because it's in... Man. I don't know what the fuck. I don't know. I I can't even speak on his circle. I don't know what he got going on. I don't know who he got around him, so I can't really, you know what I'm saying? But, hey, man, just prayers out to Dougie, bro. Good video, you know what I'm saying? New school stories. Good one. Yep. Good one. Anyways, man, links in the description getting soon. Appreciate your job for tuning in. Y'all take it easy. Good bit, 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 bit. Good bit.